So it is semi-final day. Business end in the ultimate show of the summer, which has gone on for a good part of a month already. But it is safe to say we are on the home straight. 24 teams began it, 20 have bid farewell. And now we are down to the last four, hoping for those two dream tickets to the final at Wembley. I really don't think we could have hoped for much more in terms of atmosphere. Tremendous shows of friendship, which has been an overriding theme of these championships all over the continent, as fans have travelled from far and wide to be here. It is the penultimate page in the story of Euro 2020. This, of course, a venue that needs no introduction. The iconic arch, a symbol of Wembley Stadium, the home of football. Well, that has got the juices flowing. And now this. So we are nearly there, just this small matter of the semi-final to get through. This competition has been a superb advert for football, Peter, up to this stage, and it'll continue like that with all the talking points focusing on the positive side of things, I'm happy to say. Credit has to be afforded to the way in which everything was coordinated, despite games being spread across so many different nations, in essence, None of the camaraderie associated with the tournament has been lost. I'm pretty sure that this game will back that up. So we're up and running. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Virgil van Dijk. He's just about unbeatable in every department, Peter. He's strong, he's quick, he's totally dominant in the air. And what's more, he seems to really love a tussle. His passing's good too, and he never seems to lose it in important areas. I'd expect this team to notch up a lot of clean sheets with him on board. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender. Chance! Goal! The Netherlands! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers too. It's all very well drilled. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Forward it goes. It's a loose ball. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Bit of an appeal, but nothing doing. And it's Mbolo. Switzerland are playing with a pleasing width here, especially that front line. Is it working for you? Um, it's not movement for the sake of it. Um, yes, it is working for me. There's a purpose to, to create space. Is there any support? It's a bolo! There's a goal! Switzerland are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking ahead of them.
And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, there's resilience for you, Peter. As a side, they never lost focus despite the setback. And this is thoroughly merited for me. Now they can... And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. And no surprise, that's a booking. And it's played forward. Promise. Promise. Massive leap! Decent enough try. A more than decent attempt, Peter. Rodriguez. Got a throw in. Goes for goal. He's gone for it. Oh, that was no routine save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. And it's Blint. Promise. Oh, that's a foul, and the whistle's gone. And he's going to have his name taken. Players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? The Netherlands seeking to maximise the moment. And distance is no problem here. The angle's tight for a shot. But the keeper's equal to it. The ball's loose, and he's after it. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Embolo. Shakiri! There it is! Pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Switzerland get themselves into the lead. Yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. Shakiri plays it out to the flank. That's a case of crossing and hope, but half time in the semi-final. A really good half of football, three goals and just one separating them. So we reached the halfway point. Well, give me a moment to get my breath back. Uh, what a super half of football. Instant pack, goals, comebacks, and the match being turned on its head. Which way it's going to go from here, it's anyone's guess.
we're underway again. I think they've got to go out at the start of this second half now and set a tone that smacks of intent and determination. Should they manage it, I think they can find a way back. Mbolo, a chance! It's Mbolo! It's off target and by quite a way. Mbolo really drove at the heart of that defence. Incisive, quick, but not clinical. Rodriguez plays it forward. Just brushed off the ball there. Rodriguez. That's really nice. And the finish! And that has skimmed the post. Oh, and it's such a good effort. Maybe the target really should have been hit. Oh, good interception. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. That's been drilled forward. A oh, well played. He's taken that really cleanly. The Netherlands showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's... Re Big chance! A real chance and a real let-off. Well, I can understand why his thinking was that way inclined. And it's Seferovic. Played out to the right. And that should be the keepers. Belts one. And that will sail harmlessly past. Well, I think a little eagerness just got the better of him. He may have been thinking about back page headlines there. Get the pass he's looking for. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Has a hit! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. And it's Memphis Depay. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Wijnaldum tries to get it forward quickly. And a header! Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. He'll try from distance. Wijnaldum has given away a free kick. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. 
Switzerland can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. It's got through to him. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. He spotted the run and played him through. Now it's Memphis to pop. He's gone for it! Oh, it's gone in! They have stolen level at the last! His position was perfect, the invitation was there for him, and his response absolutely critical. Yeah, and teamwork was key to that. A beautiful piece of uh, engineering to, to set him free in the box. All square. It is going to need 30 more minutes. No winner after 90. Yeah, this has been a hard-fought game, Peter. There's been a healthy dose of drive and ambition, and sometimes that isn't rewarded with goals just like this one. I've seen a lot worse, though. So 90 minutes couldn't produce a winner, and we have extra time. Ninety minutes gone, and nothing between them still. The Netherlands displayed great character to force extra time from what looked a pretty ominous situation. The question now is, can they go on to win it? It is doable. He's found his man. Mbolo. He's on his way. That's a hit! Goal at his mercy, and somehow he's missed it. It's a very watchable game, isn't it? Any goal from here could, could well be the winner. Switzerland are making a change now. Shakiri is being withdrawn here, but he's certainly made his mark. Yeah, he'll get a good ovation for his contribution. I'm not so sure why he's leaving us, though. There's no obvious sign of, of injury or fatigue. Memphis Depay. Closer, sticks in a foot to win it back. And it's Mbolo. Plays a clever pass. Tried to play it through. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out, despite making what looked like the right run. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. The pie, and somehow he managed to miss it. And that's been it. Half time, extra time. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this turn. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this, I think. <laughs> Exhaustion, physical and mental. Will we find a winner? This really has been thrilling. Both sides going at it, and now for the final act. Bethmedi is alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Memphis Depay. Van der Beek. to deliver a ball into the box. There's not much doubt that this will be played into the penalty area.
He's got... He's had a shot! Oh, he's managed to miss it. sit forward well they're supposed to be chasing a goal and yet there's no urgency or a sense of awareness they've got to wake up a mixture of good defending and indecisive passing no progress it is now or never tries a shot good stop that wasn't easy Patrick van Anhol is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save a lovely little footballing moment Patrick van Arnholt goes looking. And that is it. There will be penalties. Ah, it's a big well done to both defences for refusing to buckle under the pressure. Fatigue with focus is, is not the norm. And the players look exhausted from one last act. We're back in a moment for penalties. Real tension here, then, as the first man readies himself. So the ball is placed on the spot. Memphis Depay, first in line. And he's found the net. How confident was that? backed himself all the way Seferovic next in line and here he is coolly done one each he just did what he was asked so the second man in line that's how it's done he made the keeper commit Looks like he's done it a thousand times, never looked like missing. So, the second man in line. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper and he guessed wrong. The third man in the queue. Yeah, made his mind up very quickly and just didn't waver. Mehmedi is the third man to step forward. Three, three. Van der Beek is fourth up. Oh, that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. Rodriguez comes up, their fourth taker. Good penalty, just steered it the other way. Good penalty, completely wrong-footed the keeper. Wijnaldum is the fifth volunteer. Oh, 
brilliantly done. He never took his eye off the keeper either. Switzerland must score here to stay in it. It's in, he's kept them in it. Yeah, made his mind up very quickly and just didn't waver. It is sudden death from here on. One miss could lose it. It's in, too smart for the keeper. Looks like he's done it a thousand times, never looked like missing. Switzerland have to score or they have had it. It's there and the fight goes on. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper and he guessed wrong. Streetman is next to go in sudden death. Good penalty, completely wrong-footed, the keeper. He cannot afford to miss. And scores to keep them alive. How confident was that? Backed himself all the way. And incredibly, we're up to eight. Keeper's gone the wrong way. Yeah, made his mind up very quickly and just didn't waver. Switzerland must score to keep their hopes alive. Oh, nerveless! I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. And stepping up, the skipper. Looks like he's done it a thousand times, never looked like missing. Lest you need reminding, miss this and it is over. And scores to keep them alive. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper and he guessed wrong. De Ligt takes us into double figures, this is quite extraordinary. Oh, what a save! That's a lovely stop from the keeper. He's done his teammates proud with that one. Sillison must save it. I oh, saved it! I think the keeper's done really well to save that. He deserves a pat on the back from his teammates. Sillison stares down his opposite number. Good penalty, completely wrong-footed, the keeper. So it's down to him to keep it alive. It's there, and the fight goes on. Brilliantly done. Never took his eye off the keeper, either. So we've done a complete round, and still nothing is decided. Oh, good take. Keeper committed himself. Looks like he's done it a thousand times. Never looked like missing. Switzerland at the point of no return. Saved it! And that's won it! The Netherlands have sealed their place in the final and their loyal support is in ecstasy. They head to the big day, genuinely expecting to win it. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? You know, all four sides left at this stage could make a good case to win it. But this team looks like they believe their name is already on it.